Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting Diophantine equation from Romanian Math Olympiad. So the question is, find all pairs of integer solutions of x and y to x to the power of 6 plus 3x cubed plus 1 is equal to y to the power of 4. Only by taking a look at your left-hand side of the equation. So your left-hand side is quite similar to this. So we can think about x cubed plus 1 squared. If you distribute this, then we have x to the power of 6 plus 2x cubed plus 1. Quite similar to the left-hand side of the equation, right? So the actual left-hand side of the equation, x6 plus 3x cubed plus 1, this is the same as this x to the power of 6 plus 2x cubed plus 1. And then if you add x cubed to it, then this is going to be y to the power of 4, the right-hand side of the equation. But then again, knowing how this, these three terms is the perfect square, x cubed plus 1 square. Let me add 1 to your left and the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, then we can rewrite your right-hand side quite simple as x cubed plus 1 square plus x cubed plus 1 that is equal to y to the power of 4 plus 1. But then again, this doesn't really help you to solve this Diophantine equation. So that's why I'll be going back to this left-hand side of the equation. So like I said, I go back to this left-hand side of the equation. That is x to the power of 6 plus 3x cubed plus 1. Eventually, I want to make this a squared minus b squared. That should be a plus b times a minus b. I eventually want to make this form for the original equation, right? So that's why first I'll try multiply 2 on those three terms. Then we will have 2x to the power of 6 plus 6x cubed plus 2. We can now make this as a perfect square using those integers in this form, right? So that's why I'll try multiply 4 on those three terms. Then we have 4x to the power of 6 plus now 12x cubed plus 4. Okay. So 4x to the power of 6 plus 12x cubed plus 4. This is then going to be uh, 4 times y to the power of 4. But then again, the left hand side, we cannot make this as a perfect square yet because of this constant term. If this constant term is 9, then your left hand side is going to be a perfect square as 2x cubed plus 3 squared. So that's why we can make this 4 to 9 by adding 5 on the left and the right hand side of the equation. So I'll be adding 5 to your left and the right hand side of the equation. Then your left hand side is now 4x to the power of 6 plus 12x cubed plus 9. That is a perfect square, which is 2x, now cubed plus 3, now square. Okay, so if you move your 4y to the power of 4 on the left-hand side, then we will have 2x cubed plus 3 squared minus 4y to the power of 4 is now equal to just a 5. Your term 4y to the power of 4, this is a perfect square. So 4y to the power of 4 is the same as 2y squared squared. So that's why we can... Rewrite your left-hand side of the equation as, okay, so I'll be making a bracket. Then we have 2x cubed plus 3 uh, minus 2y squared times 2x cubed plus 3, now plus 2y squared. That is just equal to 5. So based on this, we can make four systems of two equations. Okay, then based on this work, there are four systems of two equations. They are now 2x cubed, now minus 2y squared plus 3. Okay, that is now equal to 1. And then 2x cubed plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 5. This is the first one. Second one is 2x cubed minus 2y squared plus 3 is equal to negative 1. And then we have 2x cubed plus 2y squared plus 3 is negative 5. 
third one is going to be 2x cubed minus 2y squared plus 3 is 5, and 2x cubed plus 2y squared plus 3 is equal to 1. Last one is 2x cubed minus 2y squared plus 3 is equal to negative 5, and 2x cubed plus 2y squared plus 3 is negative 1. So those are the four systems of two equations, right? But if you take a look at all of these four systems, if you eliminate y, then there's only one value that you can take for the x, right? Your x has to be equal to 0. So in all of these four cases, if you eliminate y, then x has to be equal to 0. This is the only solution for the x, right? Okay, at the same time, if you plug it in 0 to the x to all of these four systems, right, then the only two possible values of the y is simply plus minus 1. As your integer solutions. So that's why the final solution for this question is your x and y is 0 and 1 or 0 and negative 1. That is your final answer for this Diophantine equation. Okay, so pretty interesting Diophantine equation from Romania Math Olympiad. So I'll be back with more videos and more questions like this sometime soon.